Hello. Oh, hold on. I kill your cun, Minegi. Hello, normal person, Robin. Phoenix Mesmer, cutely, Nori. Spicy. Mandy, Skark. Hello. I'm doing pretty good. Mandy, thank you so much for the three months. So I briefly mentioned what we were going to be doing today in last stream, but uh, I'll go over it again. Let me get this uh, window up. Alright, so as you all know, Hungry Knight is a game. Okay. <laughs> True Key, thank you so much for the two months. As you all know, Hungry Knight is an old Flash game that was made by Team Cherry for Hollow Knight. And we've played this plenty of times. We've also, also played Tomb Cat, which is another game they made for a game jam. But what we haven't played is, uh, well, let's just go into here, into the creator of this game here on Newgrounds, William Pellin, who is one of the, one of the members of Team Cherry. We can see that there is actually more games here that we've never played, including some maybe Stranger titles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play all the games that we haven't tried out yet. I feel like these have kind of been just completely forgotten, but I want to check them out. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. Maybe we'll do some speedruns of the games. But yeah, that's the plan for today. Yeah, so I think uh, <laughs> we gotta start with this one, right? Hold on, there was like a description that I was very interesting. Where'd it go? Where'd the description go? I guess you can only see the description here, that's really weird. Show the world that ugly nice Jesuses don't always finish last. Alright. Let's try it out. So I'm going to have to use Flashpoint because Newgrounds is freaking terrible and their player doesn't work. So shout us to Flashpoint for existing. Um, oh no. Oh, never mind, it's working. Oh god, it's so loud. <laughs> Hold on, I need to... <laughs> reset, how do you reset? Can't you reset? Uh... Was this the one I just played? Yeah, okay. The Big Xmas Race. Ugly Jesus versus that mummy? You are Ugly Jesus. This is a race between you and that mummy to settle the score once and for all. Ugly Jesus will run automatically. Just hit spacebar to leap gracefully over hurdles. 
Make as few mistakes as possible to win the race. Press spacebar to start. Do not disappoint me, son. <laughs> so this is the uh, this is from the minds of someone who made Hollow Knight years later. Just think about that one. All right, let's try it out. Let's go. Who did the voices? <laughs> the mummy just clips through. That's not fair. The mummy just clips through the hurdles. It looks like there's a set ending that I'm working towards here. Is the game just over at this point? <laughs> These voices. What? That's not what happened. I got scammed. Okay, I don't think it's going to change anything if I try again, but I'm going to try again. I can do it. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's go. This game is brutal. Rated 18. Watch this. Dude, why am I sucking this time? Maybe, maybe it'll work out in my favor. I don't know how this game works. What the heck? Did this get harder? Did this get harder or am I just bad? Is there progression in this game? Okay, um... Well, we tried again. Also, who, who are those people? Who are those in the back? <laughs> who are those people? <laughs> Don't hit any hurdles for a secret bonus. Didn't I already do that? I did that earlier. Okay. <laughs> well, that was the greatest Christmas special I've ever played. Incredible. What if I hit every hurdle? I don't think there's anything. <laughs> I think we should move on. Okay, so... Let's move back to the window capture here. Sorry, I'm slow with this. This is apparently based on an artwork. Based on this famous artwork. Oh. The link is broken, look at this. <laughs> the link is broken. Can I even get to this picture? What if I get rid of the spaces? Nope, it got blocked. Okay. I don't know. I don't know about that picture. 
Does anyone know what that picture is? Show it to me if you know what that is. Anyways, let's take a look at the reviews for this game. Perfect run on my first try. Guess I was born to be ugly Jesus. But I drifted away from my destiny at some point to become a weird gal with an unhealthy obsession for weird babies instead. Now I'm just confused with my existence. Thank you. I've also got great humor value. It made me XD and squee. Dank. This game has aged like fine wine and cheese. 10 out of 10. A poorly made game, not fun at all. Damn. Just absolutely terrible. Oh, William Pellen responded to this one. For this case, I will give it perfect score. Absolutely zero. Short gameplay worth 15 seconds. Nothing special. This game is more worthless than games 15 years ago. Better for you guys to play old games rather than this. If you make the game longer, maybe I will think about giving you a star. And then William Pelham responds, thank you for the perfect score. Incredible. Anyways, that's a taste of what we're gonna be going through today. I think we're going to move in time with the actual submission time. So why don't we do Return to Booty Grotto next. A challenging game of skill guides your fishy through the treacherous grotto. Swim through the mysterious booty grotto in search of treasure simple but challenging action game where you guide your intrepid fishy through a whole collection of varied and surprising levels, avoiding crazy traps and a bunch of lovable yet dangerous villains. Multiple paths through the game, multiple endings, secret exits, warps, and bonus areas all await you, if brave and skillful enough. Get the high score and complete every challenge to become a true grotto master. Okay, this is sounding more like Hollow Knight to me. This is sounding ambitious. I don't know if it actually is, but we'll check it out. So I have a feeling I'm gonna have to turn down my volume way low. I already forget what the noises were, I'll be honest. I completely forget what the noises were. I'll have to listen to it again. <laughs> me, me, me. Hold on, someone redeemed make the Jesus noises, so... Give me a sec. find booty grotto return to booty grotto
Oh, this is this counts as a different flash player. That's cool. Uh, what is happening? Oh, there we go. Where the heck is the setting up thingies text? It's like showing on screen is annoying me. Okay. Oh, this is a banger. And we've got cast list, challenges, sound test, and high scores. There's a lot going on here. I think we're starting to see some of the, uh, the genius behind Hollow Knight now. Alright. Welcome to Booty Grotto. Hidden within are treasures beyond a fish's imagination. But it will take all your skill and courage to make it through to the end. And then we got the controls. Wazd. Don't touch any walls and avoid traps and bad guys. If you get hit, you lose a life. It's a good mustache right there. Swim through the goal ring to finish the level. Then it's on to the next challenge. Or the double space next challenge. The hunt for treasure is on. Get used to your controls here. You won't lose a life if you mess up. This is a map screen. The goal is to make it through the grotto, but there are different paths you can take and multiple areas to discover. Some areas have more than one goal ring. Different goal rings will take you along different routes. On the screen, the colored arrows will tell you which colored goal ring will take you in that direction. Oh. Why can't I move? Oh, I have to press spacebar. Oh shoot, what the heck? I thought that was the game. Apparently this is the game. So I need to not touch the walls. Oh shit! Well... Mr. Fish has... deceased. Bitbar for an extra life. Oh, that was close there. The doubloon! Get a chance for a bonus item after the level. can see some of the uh, the early forms of hand-drawn art later used in Hollow Knight. I think in this game it looks a little nicer though. Bonus 20 fishies, let's go! Rookie's Cavern. Whoa, why is the fish so stretched? <laughs> Look at this. Look at this level screen. So this is the level screen. Look at all the different routes you can take. I wonder what's the optimal route for speedruns. We're gonna have to figure that out. Oh shoot! New song. Uh oh, I made a mistake. Oh, swerve, swerve on this guy. Oh frick! Swerve right into the wall. 
Oh, there is a time limit. I just noticed that. Ah! I want to get all the fishies, but I'm scared. 15? Wait, what happens if the time runs out? Maybe that's a specific... That, I think that's a specific ending that you only reach if you get there in time. So there'll, there will be a different path because I missed that. What is this contraption? Boxing gloves. I'm going for an all fishy run right now. Yeah, see, so there's two exits. I can't go through this one anymore. We gotta go through the blue. Bonus chance! 40! Insane. Oh, look at the little ju juice box <laughs> that the fish had. <laughs> this game is huge, dude. Who needs Silk Song when we have Booty Grotto? Is this the long-awaited Abyss expansion? Oh, we're in the hive now? Oh, frick. What are the flowers? What do those do? Oh! Okay. There's fishies in the flowers. So are these like bee fish? Because we're underwater. I'm gonna go for the red path by collecting all fishies. That's a little more interesting, I feel. Oh my gosh! My hats! I'm running out of hats. Oh, but I missed these fishies at the start, so that's fine. And we got an extra life. Oh, I only needed 50 fishies? There's a lot more than that. Okay, uh... <laughs> Am I missing any still? I don't know. Missing these ones. I mean, that's a good amount of fishies, right? We could end off with that. Challenge completed bit ring. So we could do like an all achievements run of this. <laughs> also, I have a feeling we're not supposed to see beyond this box. Do you think that that's <laughs> maybe how this is supposed to go, chat? I think it's intended to be a square and we're me like full screening it is making it kind of go weird. It's fine. It's fine. We're going the bottom path. Oh, look at the top path. There's like a hidden fishy land. I want to go there. I wonder how you get there. There's so much mystery to this game. We need to find out everything about it. Oh yes, death bubbles. Death bubbles! Gotta be a bit more careful. So they follow the bubble path. It does show where they're gonna go. Oh, tentacles.
There's a lot of different kinds of obstacles in this game. Oh god. Oh god. I want the fishies. No! At least I got the fishies. A benefit of using the full screen is that I can actually see further in the level than I would normally be able to if I was just in like a box shape. Oh, that was a risky hat to go for. Only got 10, not the best roll. Putrid Pit has been complete. Damn, we're still going? Where's the end? Oh! There's like, text. <laughs> the alphabet is off screen. Oh no. <laughs> we're breaking the game. It's being corrupted. Look at this place. We're we gonna have a fish rave. Okay, those kind of gently push me. Oh, noodle friend! Look at this noodle friend. I love them. Noodle friend. My beloved. Oh frick. Wait, is this locked onto me? Oh god. Okay, no. It was just following a path. I'm like, is there AI in this game? Oh shit. Noodle friend, I'm taking your hat. It's mine now. Thank you. Is there only one exit in this map? Wait, chat, I found a secret, look! Secret! <gasps> secret exit! We got the big bonus. Where does this go? Yo! We found a big fish stash! Your keen sense of exploration has uncovered a hidden cache of fish bits. Grab all you can. This game is actually good. Uh oh. Did it just crash? No, we're good. It said not responding on the <laughs> Flash player. This game is exceeding my expectations for sure. Especially after starting with Ugly Jesus. This game is called Return to Booty Grotto. Extra life. Get all the fishies. I don't think I can get all of them on this map. There's way too much. We need a task to do it for us. Oh my gosh! Stop bouncing! Oh! Clip through the balloon, look! <laughs> you can clip through the balloon. Oh, and a free hat at the end. Nice. Wait, there was more! There was more! Maybe. I don't know. It might have stopped scrolling at that point. I might have just missed out on some fishies.
Oh jeez. Diagonal world. <laughs> Diagonal is the hardest direction to move. I'm gonna I'm gonna not go for every fishy because it seems to uh, not be worth. There's so many levels, so I'm gonna focus on completing the game, and then we'll try and do some speed runs and figure out a route for it. I wonder if the green routes are a good way to go for speed runs the green doors, because it's basically a speedrun anyways, but maybe they lead to faster routes. Temple of Zigzag. Why does this game actually look hard? <laughs> it's a little difficult. Oh, the paths are closing off. I wonder if we're getting close to the end. I think I can kind of see a uh, <laughs> sneak preview <laughs> of something over there. Oh shit, what just happened? Did I just get... As soon as you left the temple, you were swallowed by Gastro. Make your escape. Don't... Don't say it, chat. Don't say it. Oh my gosh. There's even, like, stomach acid. Well, at least we can see some themes that were, uh... used again in Hollow Knight. the origins of certain ideas. Okay. I guess Gastro also swallowed these spiky octopi. the fish's name again? Did it say? Oh come on, I did not hit that. No, not the thing that ate me, my name. Orange fish. Oh my gosh, what? We're not losing now that we're this far. That would be so sad. What is wrong with me? Why can't I do this part? It's not like it's that much harder than any anything else I've done. We're gonna take it slow. Wiggle our way over. There's a checkpoint. There's a checkpoint. Oh my god. Okay, maybe this level actually is kind of hard. Bee fish! Oh my gosh, there's so many different kinds of enemies in here. Is 
This is canonically the night from Hollow Knight's Fever Dream. <laughs> Look, there's the lights. What are the lights? Is that the end of the game? Are those the three endings? White, yellow, and pink? After escaping, you've been... After escaping being eaten, you've come to this lawless part of the sea. Be brave. Lawless. Oh gosh. I'm in a bad part of town. Should I collect all the things? Oh, hello. You have fishies in you. Can I have them? Bam. What the heck? Give me your fishies. How do I extract the fishies? Mario 64. Mario 64. Yes! Mario 64 has prepared me for this. It's Umu. Oh my, okay. You can just explode, that's fine. Oh shit! Well, I dodged the cannonball at least. to collect a hundred fishies to get the red exit, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh my gosh. If I don't die trying. I'm down to seven lives. I need to be careful. Oh, this is like some weird, like, some weird kind of water where the movement is different. Like, you kind of, like, slip around. I didn't realize that. There's another Umu over there. Is there even enough room to circle that one? Maybe she got a checkpoint first. And go back. Checkpoints. Oh, we're zooming through there. Alright, I'm gonna get this, this jellyfish. It's a little scary in this tight space. There we go. 78. Oh! Swerve past him. Best booty grotto player in the world. Insane. Need two more for the red. Oh! Oh! That like murky water is so weird. Let's go! Let's go! Red exit. Thank you for the biddies, POQ. Alright, I'll take a look at that when I get a chance. Past the Lawless Valley is the Sea of Monsters. Be brave, you're almost at the end of your quest. Well, I guess we're going to the White Glowy. We're gonna have to get every ending at least. I wanna see what these all are.
Oh, you're large. Hello, friend. Oh, look at the little clam. I like the clam. He has a hat! Look how cute the clam is. Oh, but you have a thing for me. Hold on. Snipe. Got it. So this is the level where everything is just huge, all of a sudden. No, I missed a fishy! Whatever. I don't think there's alternate endings in this level. Oh my god! Oh my god! Turned into a bullet hell for a second. Okay, I need to... I need to be more careful. I'm gonna die on the last level. play it safe. We'll save the the movement for uh, when we're trying to beat it quickly. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Okay. Giant bee! I didn't see the bee until then. So, uh, what's everyone think of the game so far? I think it's... I think it might potentially be better than, uh, Hungry Knight, even. Like, obviously it's better than Hollow Knight, but... Hungry Knight? might be the best game of all time. Oh frick. Oh jeez. 10 out of 10 soundtrack. Great character development. And uh, yeah, it's just a good game. Okay, I need to stop dying. I'm at seven lives. Yet again. The story is unrivaled. True. Get the big fishy. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no, why are you here? Why are you here? Just go, just go, just go. Why do you have... Why are you trying to eat me? Don't eat me. I've already been eaten. It was not a good experience. Oh, I bounced into the, into the bee. This game is by one half of Team Cherry, or I guess one third now. So, like, someone from Team Cherry. It's, uh, William Pelham. So you can, you can kind of say it's the Team Cherry game, I guess. A member of Team Cherry. Oh my gosh, don't do it. Wait, I kind of want this. Are we approaching the end? Oh shoot, there's... There's tiny ones. There's the end. Here we go. I think William Pellin did everything for this game, I would imagine, but we'll see if there's credits or anything. Here we go. The mysterious temple emits an unearthly light. What is the treasure hidden within?
The dramatic ending. What is it gonna be? What is this place? What have we uncovered? Oh my god! We're in space! We've gone where no fish has gone before. Oh jeez. The moons. <laughs> I have to dodge the moons. Oh jeez. This game is such a magical experience. Oh, black holes, black holes. Where do I even go here? I guess I can fight the black hole probably, yep. I'm stronger than a black hole's... suck. <laughs> I can swim. I can outswim a black hole. I'm just gonna wait for that planet to move. Oh! Bye planet. Oh no. No, this one's a strong one. Keep swimming, fish. Keep swimming. Ah. Uh. We're in a sor solar system right now. Oh shoot, the sun's gonna explode. Oh my god! Wait! The sun's gonna explode! I'm alive? I got a treasure chest. Singular candy. Or bubble gum. What is going on? <laughs> oh my god, I've gained the power to fly! Wait, this is the best ending. Yes, ascend! Embrace the gum ending. Let's go. And there's my path I took. Well, that was incredible. <laughs> yeah, that was unironically a good game. I'm gonna keep playing. I wanna get the other endings. And then we're gonna do a speedrun. And I'll try to take like a different path. 
game defines the genre. <laughs> Oh, the high score table. Pog. Easy. I beat all these real people, dude. World record. I beat all these real players who are completely not made up for the leaderboard. Let's go. There's a hard mode? Oh my gosh. And we got the uh, the cast list. So yeah, Finn is our character. We got Bugsy. Bumble Bass. Nocto. Ghoulie, Clyde. You know, all the memorable characters along the way are here. Mojo the Noodle. Spinaldo. <laughs> what are the achievements? Oh, frick. The achievements are laid out like a puzzle. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. It's like a smash with the pictures. Smash 4. I guess? I don't know. I don't remember how that game did that. I wonder what the hardest achievement is. Oh, there's a there's an invincible achievement. Finish the game without losing a life. I wonder if anyone has ever done that. <laughs> I somehow doubt it. Oh god. What have I done? <laughs> Here, we're gonna make it look nice. We're gonna do this. Oh god. <laughs> I've already ruined it. I just want it to be bigger on my screen. There we go. No more screwed up. Full screen. Okay, I'm gonna go for the other endings. We're gonna try and go fast and like not get fishies and stuff. Just get the other endings, let's speedrun it. You can kind of do some practice for the speedrun too. Zoom in time. Huskies, thank you so much for the two months. And Truki, thank you for the two months. I might have missed that, I don't know. My. Notification sounds are like super low right now because the game is so loud. So I'm like not hearing them. Let's try and get to the green one this time. Where's the green one? Green! Let's go! I got the speedrun exit. I wonder where this takes me. Takes me down here, okay. So I, I wasn't down this far last time, this is a new level. We've got tubes! New mechanic. I'm kinda lost. <laughs> I don't know where I'm trying to get to.
I feel like this game has a lot of heart put into it. For just like a silly flash game. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go this way during the speedrun because I'm like lost. I don't know where the ending is. Oh, is that it? I see it. How do I get there, though? How do I get there? Ah, frick. Just take all the right paths. Maybe. Oh, no. And now we're on the left again. Down here? Nope. Where do I go? Oh my god. This level. Just a dead end. I've been here like a billion times. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Where do I freaking go? I'm definitely not taking this map in the speedrun. I'm so lost. It's gotta be somewhere that I wouldn't expect to go because I've been trying to go to the top right the whole time and I'm not getting anywhere, so... I'm just gonna try and go the complete opposite way and maybe it'll work out. Let's try going down left. I can't go down left. I can't go where I wanna go. Okay, you go here, and then you go up, and that leads you to this, which has an up path and a down path, and then this path, that's where I was, that's where I was. So the down path takes me to the end, okay. Jeez. <laughs> that map was so confusing. Maybe if you know exactly where you're going, that level would be faster, though. Oh, I was trying to go flying past. Okay, I'm running low on lives. I'm gonna maybe take it a bit slower here. And I immediately do that after saying that. What am I doing? I wanted the fishies. I wanna get an extra life, but it's not gonna matter if I freaking die. This is also a level I want to avoid. Because I can see myself dying a lot here. Okay. We're good, we're good. I'm gonna go the, uh, the other path just to see the level. Or maybe we should just go the secret because I'm low on lives. On lives.
I did not see that thing. Okay, to be safe, I'm gonna go the secret way. So I can get some lives. But I imagine the secrets are actually kind of slow. So we'll be avoiding those. Yeah, because I, I think I would it would just take me directly to the... the temple level, the diagonal level. I didn't go here. Oh yeah, we can try waiting this time. That's right. Get in there! <laughs> So, uh, is Finn gonna get in Smash Bros? Do you think Finn has a chance to get in Smash? I think Finn is a good choice. Is more, yes. If you wait, there's more fishies at the end. It's almost like I cheated and saw that there was more fishies by having full screen. <laughs> We got tons of lives from that, so I think we'll be fine now. Ah, uh, too fast! Too fast. Man, there's not... Is there no checkpoint on this level? No way, dude! I'm choking. I'm choking. There's a checkpoint. There's a life over there. Damn. <laughs> I missed the green. At least that doesn't seem too hard to get. It would probably take me down there and avoid this level, which would be nice. I think in the speedrun I'll try and do that. Well, back to Vor level. So I don't know if it, you can tell, but uh, if you just don't press any buttons, you actually kind of drift downwards like this. So moving around is always like, you kind of have to fight the the downwards momentum all the time. It's kind of what makes it hard to move around.
That was good. Give me that life. And life deleted. High upper route might be faster. No, to get to high upper route, you need to do red, red gates, which are collect all of the fish, fishies. So I doubt it. I know collecting enough fishies would be faster than just speeding through. in here. Oh, jeez. Where's the actual blue ending? What? Wait, where's the blue ending? <laughs> Is it further up? It's not next to the red ending. This is probably up here more. Oh my god, oh my god. There it is. So red goes down. I'm gonna do red here because I think when we're trying to go fast, we're gonna do blue and go into yellow. So let's get the purple ending. Or let's try because I need to collect fish as something's trying to eat me behind me. Oh jeez. Is this stressful, dude? Oh my god, the bubbles! I gotta go for the three fishies. I only got two. Fifteen more? Aw, oh, frick. Aw, oh, frick. Wait, dying actually gives me more chances to get fish, though. That's fine. Oh my gosh! Blue, thank you so much for the raid! And... Fireborn, thank you so much for the 8 months. Maxwell Cat, thank you for the Prime sub. I think I missed that too. Thank you everyone. Uh, we are playing... William Pellin's old Flash games. These are on Newgrounds. This is Return to Booty Grotto, really a masterpiece. Truly a masterpiece. If you ask me. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's not the end, so I just need two more and we can get the red exit now. So I don't really have to worry about fishies now. Saw blades! Alright, even more origins of Hollow Knight things. Go for the red. Here we go. So this game has three endings. That's how advanced this Flash game is. There's three different endings. We're gonna get the bottom ending now. The bottom ending. At the end of your journey, you've come to a cavern hidden from the light. Prove your courage. I have to prove my courage? Oh, there's a heart. Nice. Am I proving my courage by making friends with 
Jellyfish. Because that sounds good to me. Must top four face to pure vessel, damn. That fight can just, like, you can just... It can just go really badly sometimes if you're not in the flow of it. Jellyfish friend! Open the way. Look at these, like... Oh my god! That was terrifying. I was gonna say, look at these, uh... The, like, mouths in the terrain, but, uh, <laughs> there's something scarier than that. Can I get past this guy? Oh, you're hiding some stuff. Hiding some jellyfish. Okay, he's just a dummy. He's just gonna keep going. Three jellies. By the power of the of friendship, we'll open the door. Don't turn around. <laughs> don't look. Don't look this way. Oh, jeez, he actually did. It's a fluke manga. You bitch. Give me that treasure. Friendship powers. Oh my god, this thing's trying to eat me now. Oh, jeez. This is the horror ending. No! <laughs> I bounced off the jellyfish and got eaten. Okay, two more. There's the last one right there. Friendship! Oh. Yeah, you're not getting away with that one. Wait, what? That's not how that works. I found a girlfriend in the treasure chest. The greatest treasure of all. Love and friendship. And marriage, I guess. <laughs> See, I'm fine with all that. I'm just like, why was she in a treasure chest? You know? <laughs> Like, you open the treasure chest and it's like, wife. <laughs> but I mean, a wholesome ending, besides that, it's fine. Also, yeah, scarier than Subnautica for sure. New high score, let's go. Damn it, I got beat by Skur. At least I'm better than Finn. The actual fish I'm playing as. What's her name? What's her name? Gilly! Her name is Gilly. New waifu unlocked. Lugie. 
Anglerk, the Viafo. Yeah, I mean, we even got Leviathans in this game, like, goddamn. Okay, chat, it's time. It's time to do some speedruns. This is honestly... <laughs> This is a great game. I'm enjoying this. Yes, we definitely need the best possible time. That's important. Okay, let's do our first ever return to Booty Grotto speedrun. Let's go. I'm gonna be mostly just going for the blue exits. Maybe we'll go for a green one later. Oh my gosh, I already went the wrong way. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. Okay, first level, easy. Calcor, thank you so much for the six months. Oh. Okay, we made that cycle, that was pretty sick. Oh, I tried to go fast. Not fast enough. I think I... There's a chance I run out of lives during this and have to reset. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Yeah, this is the B level. I don't think this one's too bad. I guess I'll grab that life. Oh, that's such a quick level. That's so fast. I think this is a good route. Down here, checkpoint, keep going. Up here. We're zooming right now. There's the end. I'm gonna go green, I'm gonna go green. I might end up in a level I haven't been in before. Yep, okay, we're going top route, we're going top route. I've never been here, so I'm scared. Oh no. Oh no, where do I go? Uh, up here. Oh, it's the murky waters. <laughs> Finn just spazzing out. Oh my gosh! This level's scary! First try though. First try. What is this confetti level? Obstacle course, carnival games. Can I just leave? How do I leave? I just want to go. I guess obstacle course, right? There's freaking carnival games. I'm going to have to check that out later. Jeez, saw blades. Okay, there's an ending here. Good, 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 good. Blue eyed pup, thank you for the gift sub. Just keep going, just do all the blue exits. 
We got this. I don't know any of these maps. I've never done these ones. <laughs> We're improvising. Wait, we gotta get keys? Oh my god, respawn already. We gotta get keys on this map. It looks like if I take the key all the way back to the start though, I can just go to the end, so... I'm gonna try and do that once I find one. Oh, that was close. That was close. Where are the keys? There's one. Oh, you just get to keep the key. Okay, I see. Oh god, there's ghosts. There's ghosts. Truly the scariest game of the year. I just gotta make it back to the start. What is this? What the heck? They're they're blocking me off, dude. I think we gotta avoid this map next run. This map is messed up. Siblings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you think about it, like, pretty much everything in this game predicted Hollow Knight. This is too hard. This level's too hard. This level's too hard, dude. I'm gonna throw the run. Out of the frickin' way, dude. Do I have to go up here? Nope. It's up here. It's up here. It's up here. It's down there. It's down there. Go. I think holding space makes that go faster. Okay, I can just hold space. New strat discovered. Just hold space on the menus. It buffers everything. What the heck is this? My eyes are bleeding. Oh my god. Why have you done this to me? I don't like this map. I don't like it. I don't like it. Somehow I'm like acing this though. Speed run ending! We're gonna get the white ending again. I think. Actually, no, if I get the blue exit, I think we'll get the, the other ending. Which is what I'm gonna do. It'd be nice to avoid this auto-scroller map. I think you can. I think my route wasn't the greatest. Uh. Hold on, sorry if I missed any subs, I'm gonna check that afterwards. Just I can't even hear the sound effect. <laughs> the flash game's too loud. Okay, don't go into that. Best we can do on this map is just not die so we don't lose time to respawning. Okay, new ending. New ending. What is this? The hidden gold land? Oh shoot. Where am I supposed to go though? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is scary! I got an- I got an orb. I don't remember where those were- the things are gone! The indicators of where those are- 
Oh my gosh, this was not a good choice of level. Maybe it's the best one though, because the other ones are like the jellyfish level and the space level. Like, none of those are good options. So who knows what the best option is. Maybe jellyfish. I feel like I could do that one pretty fast. But we'll see how this level works. I'm gonna lose a lot of time to my speedrun because I've never done this map. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm just collecting the orbs. The three orbs. Top one seems pretty hard. Oh, okay. I clipped the corner. I only got two lives left. This might be run dead. I gotta be really careful now. I'm going for the life. I'm going for the life. Okay. At least we got that security there. Red gem. Oh my god. Seriously? I have to go back to the start because of that. Dude, it's over. It's over. It's over. If I can at least survive, though, we can at least get a starting time. I'm worried I'm gonna die, though. I'm very worried. Because that gem at the top was really hard to, to do. Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh my god, I'm scared. <laughs> Two gems. Oh, it's just the top one. I need to memorize this somehow. I need to memorize this route. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Wait, I might be able to get a life. If I get some fishies. I didn't even get to the hard part. Okay. We at least got two chances, but uh, that was very sad. I can't believe I choked that badly. Okay, just take it slow, and I can check where they are. And here I can actually get that for free. Oh, that almost got my butt. Okay. Green gem. Take it slow. Oh my god! How did I not get hit? I'm using invincibility. This could be done a lot faster if I was confident in myself. Go for the cycle! Why did I try that? Why did I try that? It worked. It's fine. Three gems! The ancient fish statue has been reconstructed. Now be eaten. Twelve minutes, twelve seconds. Flawless speed run right there. I knew exactly what I was doing the whole time. Now let's see what this ending is. It's like the hidden golden land of the fish. It's a crown! I am the kingfish! I will rule over everyone else. Look at this, I have an army now. <laughs> They're playing cards. <laughs> Bow down to me, your king. Forfeit all possessions unto me.
I don't need that hat anymore, I'm a freaking king. Enjoy it, I guess. <laughs> well, we got all the endings, and we got a 12 minute speedrun. But I think I can beat that time pretty, pretty easily, so... We'll maybe do a couple more runs. So what is the best route, though? That's the hardest part of running this. Like, what is the best route? Was that the best route? I somehow doubt it. I think that might be the best ending. The best final level, because... If I know what I'm doing, it's pretty fast, I think. You think bottom ending is the best? Is the fastest? Potentially. How did you? Get, how did we get down there again? I forget. Bubblegum is the best ending, but it, you have to collect like all the things to get there. So, see what we want to avoid is we want to avoid that auto scroller. That's my that's my biggest thing I want to avoid. I kind of want to look at the map screen. But now I can't do that. <laughs> Wait, we got VODs though. Let me look at the VOD. I'm going to look at the map screen and plan this out. <laughs> we got to plan out the route. Skipping auto scroller makes you do the space ending. Does it? Hmm. Space ending was pretty slow, but I don't think it's that much slower. Like, I wonder if it would be worth to skip the, uh... The auto-scroller and do space, if that's the case. I can't watch the VOD, it's not working. Oh, there we go. I'm just trying to find the map. Where's the spot where I have the map? Oh my god, I was mashing through so fast, there's like... It's so hard to find. Okay. Right here. Yeah, you're right. You have to dodge the, uh... I think you have to do red. You have to collect everything. In one of the previous levels. To get to avoid the auto scroller. So it's like you either do a collectathon or you do the auto scroller. And if you do the auto scroller, you might as well get the bottom route if it's faster. I just can't I'm not sure if it is faster. I feel like if I was good at the gold map, I would do it pretty well, right? I would almost rather do the gold map, it seems faster. Once you know what you're doing. It's hard to say though. I think I'm just gonna do gold map, I, I, it's more interesting too. <laughs> but yeah, you can't really avoid the auto-scroller. I want to avoid the ghost map. Screw that map. <laughs> I'm gonna go all blue. All blue exits or something. Da, 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 da. We almost got the full cast list. Parapesky. Clownbert. I didn't even see Clownbert. I guess he was on that arcade map, probably. We have to check out the arcade, too. At the end. Who's this? I'm missing one person. Maybe we'll get him this time. Okay, chat, let's do another run. Let's try and beat 12 minutes. Here we go. Uh-oh, why is it pausing? 
I think space pauses if I, I held space too long. Look at this, I know where I'm going this time. Mostly. Wait, why was that a gold exit? Wasn't that supposed to just be blue? Wait, did I just skip a level? Wait, what happened? How did I get that? What's going on? I just skipped a, like a level or something. I don't know how I did that. We're already here, holy crap. This is insane pace. We're zooming right now. Oh, oh, oh. This is insane pace. I don't even know how I did that level skip. The ending was just gold for some reason. See, I feel like it's either this map or the ghost map though. And neither are very desirable. They're both very long and kind of difficult. Oh my god. I need a team of routers to help me with this game. <laughs> I'm doing good though. I'm doing good in terms of not... Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Dude, are you kidding me? I had to open my mouth. Oh my gosh. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. This map, we just gotta go to the end. Oh jeez, I'm doing some risky strats here. I'm doing some risky strats. Ooh. This game is an intense speedrun. Oh my god, the flower killed me. How could you betray me like that, flower? This might be my next speed game. I mean, it already is, kind of. Okay, I'm gonna go blue exit again. I think I can do the gold room, the gold level a lot faster. I need to figure out how the gold, ma how the gold warp works though. I don't know how that happens. I just got a gold warp and it helped me skip the level. I don't know what triggers that at all. We might have to do some testing. But I'm currently like well on sub 10 pace now because of that. I just gotta not die. I'm kind of scared of dying. I'll get this life. Get some fishies as well to try and level up or get enough fishies to get another life. So I'm pretty close to that. Oh, saw blade, jeez. All right, final level. Final level. Here we go. I'm gonna start with this one, because this is the hard one.
Nice. Nice. I left a fish there, that worked out. Another fish. Leaving the fishes is a good strat, because then I can be more confident in going down, okay? Nice. Deathless green gem? I'm not going to go for that cycle. Nice. Deathless green gem. Love to see it. Oh, I tried too hard. Damn it. I thought I could make that. It's fine, we got five lives. Minor time loss. Minor time loss. Just wait the cycle. You can definitely make that, but that's scary. Red gem. Okay, that's scary. Red gem! One more. Come on, sub 10 is free. Sub 10 is free. I think this really matters which route I take, I just gotta get here eventually. Blue gem. This one is actually pretty stressful, dude. Oh my god. I don't know how I'm avoiding these. They have pretty generous hitboxes, but I'm I feel like I'm getting really close. Either way. Oh, okay. Nice. Beautiful, dude. Beautiful. Sub 8? How long does this cutscene take? Seven forty two. Four minute and twenty nine second improvement. I don't know how I got that, uh, that gold warp. I kind of need to test that out because I don't know how that happened. I skipped like an entire area. Should ask William Pellin how that works. <laughs> well, everyone, you've just witnessed the hot new speed game. Uh, definitely hop on the Booty Grotto speedrun train. I think it's going to be a very good speed game. I think there's a lot more to optimize. We need to find the perfect route, we need to find these gold warps. <laughs> I don't know how those work. There's plenty more to do in this in this game. Plenty more to find out. Yeah, <laughs> the Booty Grotto World Record progression video. It'll happen at some point. Look how much levels I skipped! Three? What? That's broken! We need to figure this out. What the frick? Oh, 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 oh! oh. A rumor has been echoing through the grotto of, mis of mysterious hidden warp rings. It said that these secret exits are hidden in certain areas and can lead you to shortcuts through the grotto. Or even to secret areas full of fish bits. Fact or fiction, only the most intrepid explorers will know for sure. Did I actually just go a different way? I think I just found a secret. I thought I was going the right way. Hold on.
Wait. Oh, I see. You just got a speed run. You just got a speed run. I just saw it turn to blue. Okay, that's that's easy then. You just gotta be good. And then you can skip like the first few levels. That's awesome. We figured it out. We figured out the mystery. <laughs> I wonder if there's more like that. I wonder if there's like two shortcuts. I wonder if I could use the gold to get to another room with a gold and then just go right to the end. That would be amazing, but uh... Yeah, we'll have to test that out at some other point, I guess. Good to know, good to know. It's gonna turn into like... Mario, where it's like, <laughs> get to the warp as soon as possible. It was made for speedrunning. Yeah, what did I say? It's the hot new speed game. Sound test. There's even a sound test in this game, man. What a masterpiece. Look at look at Finn jamming out there. DJ Fishy. Well, that was, uh, that definitely exceeded my exception, or, <laughs> exception, that definitely exceeded my expectations. That game's actually really good. I'd recommend finding a way to play this game. I'm using Flashpoint, that's how I'm playing it, because I couldn't get Newgrounds player to work. But yeah, really a forgotten gem, to be honest. I would have loved playing this in, uh, in school. <laughs> in one of the computer classes instead of doing work that'd be this would definitely satisfy my uh, enjoyment anyways we might play a little more of this later maybe I'll do another run but there's one more game I want to check out the final William Pellin game that I haven't checked Where's my splits? I want to get rid of that for now. Okay, so... What have we got here? The only comment on this game is... Hey, thanks for making Hollow Knight. You're welcome. Why isn't there endless praise for this masterpiece? Why is this rated 4 stars? This is like, top 10 underrated games of all time. I don't have an account, so I can't rate it 5, but I would. Anyways, the final game here from William Pellin is Lulanda Demo. So this is not a full game. But it's, I guess, an, a demo of a game that was never finished, potentially? I'm not sure if this was ever finished. Maybe we should look into that. Uh, Googling it, all I get is demo. 
I just get demos. So I don't think it was ever finished. We finished the fish game. I got a seven minute speedrun. Yeah, let's uh, let's look over this. This is a demo of a game I've been working on using Stencil. Unfortunately, it looks like Stencil wasn't designed to make large-scale games, so I'm going to be changing engines. That'll take ages, though, and before I do, here's a sample of what I managed to make. So I'm assuming that never happened. <laughs> I'm assuming the demo, the uh, the engine was never successfully changed. Land is going to be a platform. Platformer action RPG sorta game. You progress through the game by exploring the overworld map, entering levels and retrieving Cometite. As you discover more Cometite, more areas will open up. You can also uncover hidden routes and secret levels. So uh, pretty par for the course for these games. Peter Panda Dance, thank you for the five months. Also, Mira Moose, thank you for the tier one, I missed that. Uh, Calcor, I'm not sure if I said that one, but thank you so much for the six months. And I think I got the blue-eyed pup gift, but thank you again. Appreciate all the support today. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> I like how that's in the description. You can also spend your gems in between levels to upgrade your sword and shields, and buy other equipment. I guess the game is going to end up as kind of a Super Mario World slash Zelda 2 slash Alex Kidd kind of game, if that makes any sense. So pretty amazing in other words. <laughs> this is just a very early demo and proof of concept. If you have any feedback, I would seriously love to hear it. Hit me up at my email address. I like how he's just like, it's amazing. <laughs> pretty exciting in like in the description. That's how you sell your game. Oh! Dude, look! Look at this comment! It's on the wrong game, but... Return to Booty Grotto is better than Hollow Knight. Yes! I agree. Wait, is that even like... That looks kind of gross on... My screen. Is that visible? Yeah, I guess. It's just because my preview is so small, the text looks gross. <laughs> the scaled down text. Anyways. Let's get this started. Lulanda. So apparently there's a demo 1 and a demo 2. I'm just going to do demo 2 because I think that's probably further along. Demo 1 was probably taken down or something. Uh, I'm downloading the game. <laughs> Just a second. Now you should see something. looks kind of messed up. I think... Oh, full screen works on this game, I think. We'll do... we'll just do that. Full screen appears to not be that broken.
Okay, I don't think there's music for this game. Let me check. Yeah, we land a demo too. Let's check this out. Just trying to get the volume. There is volume for the sound effects at least. I need to make sure that's not deafening. Oh, there's music. There's music. Alright, so this is me. Oh, look at this sword attack. Ha! Ah. There's a downwards attack. There's no upswings, though. Oh, Lilin. Fancy meeting you here. You remember me, right? Pimplo? The palace's chief researcher? What brings you all the way out here, love? We've got some, like, Hollow Knight voices, kinda. I'm on the hunt for pieces of Cometite. You seen any around here, Pra? Yes, great timing. A piece of Cometite fell, fell right past here, at our dig site. It fell during the night and frightened me, in fact. The only problem is that when the Cometite landed, the impact broke it into three shards. They were scattered around the area up ahead. We've been trying to find them for a while now. You'll help us, won't you? Follow me to the dig site and see if you can find all three Cometite shards. If you bring them to me, I can put them back together for you. How exciting! <laughs> Even in the game we're saying how exciting it is. Excavation, pro is in excavation in progress up ahead. You can come and take a look if you're curious, but please don't touch anything or distract the researchers. Alright. Let's find all three Cometite shards, bring them over to me, and I'll put them back together. If you need any help, talk to my research team. They know this area very well, and they're very nice. There's like landing lag. Oh, screw you, bird. Yes, we get to kill birds. My favorite kind of game. Downwards attack. Oh, we got pogos. We got pogos. Look at this guy. You have to be thorough at a dig site. Some parts of the ground are softer than others. You can get through. Keep an eye out for bits of soil that stand out somehow. Like this! Wait, how do I get back up? Oh, we got wall jumps! We start with Mantis Claw. Alright. Lots of little secrets. I like the little, uh, little, like, antlers that I have. <laughs> little antler hat. Just ahead is the shop, and past that is Mole Valley. I'd go and take a look around if I had the time, or if I cared. Wow. No care whatsoever. Cometite shard fell down here and into the cave. The whole place is full of monsters, though. So pretty much given up on retrieving it. That's me, though. Always giving up. Relatable workers. Don't have to be sliding down a wall to wall jump. Just press X. So we've got, like, some blue. Ah! What is this thing? <laughs> what is this little guy? Oh! Nice shield, dude! That didn't help me at all. How do I get rid of the blue? Oh, there's a little plant guy, too. Wait, is this the Hungry Knight attack sound effect? This is the Hungry Knight attack sound effect.
Oh, a light switch. That looks really out of place, but... <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I don't know why my pogo wasn't working there. Yeah, the, the downwards attack in this game is kind of like... It's not like Hollow Knight, it's like a dive attack that turns into a pogo if you land it. Or if you loo land it. Ha! <laughs> I'm editing that out. Uh, who are you? You're kind of cute. <laughs> like how it just spoke in English. Thank you! Everyone else was like speaking gibberish earlier. Where's this flower? I s attack the flower! Oh! Is this the Cometite I was told about? Down arrow? You found the Cometite shard. Is it because you didn't give up the instant things became difficult? I'll have to research this not giving up thing further. Trying to hack down track down hidden fairies. Not having much luck. Come on in and grab a fairy finder. Fairy finder. Nice, uh, nice hair. Hey, Lillian, what's the buzz? You on the hunt for some fossils, huh? I can dig it. And how about some souvenirs? Stand in front of something and I'll give you my best sales pitch. Keep on buying? Just jump up and grab what you like. Only have 40... $40. Oh no, it just auto-grabbed! Well, I just picked up whatever the hell that was. Oh. Just unfull screened. What did I just get? An extra heart or something? Hey, Miss Royal Knight Lady. I saw a bunch of rough-looking moles. Grab one of the Comet pieces and run through there. Go get them. Oh, those are probably checkpoints, the flowers. Oh! They got drills. Secret wall. Uh-oh. Just damage tank, it's fine. Mole gang, HQ up ahead. I'm sorry, we don't even care who knows where our HQ is. That's how out of control we are. Scared losers can exit via the shortcut above. Mole gang, mole gang, mole gang. Oh god, mole gang. You can shield bash, look at that. Oh. Kill this guy. I think I need to pogo this dude. He has like a target on his head. Bam! Give me that. Two out of three. We got mushrooms. Definitely where uh, the mushrooms and fungal wastes came from. Mushrooms are an original concept to this game. Can I get over here? Jump! Frick. Come on, that's like secret potential, right? Damn it. Maybe not. I like these trees. <laughs> the tree shape is very interesting. Whoa, what the heck? Taught those moles a lesson, did you? 
Lucky for them, I was almost going to head down there myself. Ha, things would have gotten pretty ugly. Is this the zote of this game? There's always got to be a zote. Okay, there's one more piece of thing. Piece of the Triforce. Where could it be? In this cave, probably. Oh, look at this little cute. Hey, wow, I saw a bird fly past with something really shiny. I bet it stuck that shiny thing up high in the nest somewhere. That's what I'd do. Okay, we can, like, hang on these little vine things. Hypothesis. I can grab these vines to climb higher. Method. Jump up and gracefully grab onto vines. Result. I jumped 17 centimeters and fell on my bum. Conclusion. My ambitions exceed my ability. On my bum. <laughs> the relatable, relatable workers, excavators. Oh jeez. This game is kind of lagging a bit. <laughs> There's too much going on. Big Tech Bat, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Appreciate it. Okay. Just don't fall. We got this. Wait, where do I go from here? Wall jump? Oh no, I tried to attack the birds out of instinct. And now I'm back at the start. Oh my gosh, you're so loud. Onion child. <laughs> Stop talking. I think I can open up like a checkpoint if I destroy these, uh... These things. The floors. Because I can just wall jump back up. Wall, jump isn't, wall jumping is definitely not as intuitive as in Hollow Knight. You have to, like, be holding the opposite direction. Whoop! I got killed by some random snake. This is the hardest Triforce piece, for sure. You gotta, you gotta hold like the opposite direction, it's weird. Or you have to hold towards the wall to, to wall jump. Oh no, you can just mash, okay. I see. Okay, these freaking snakes. Get out of here. What is even on your head, like a weird eggplant? This is the true path of pain right here.
sure, you've completed Path of Pain, but have you completed Lulanda Demo 2? That's a true test of gamer skill right there. Oh shoot, the final thing is right there! We got all three! Now what happens? I wonder what's at the top of this part. I never got up here. I'm curious. I want to know what's up here. Is it the Silk Song release date? Predicted years in the past? I think it's just a red gem. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's all that's up there, yeah. Okay. Unfortunate. Yeah, I got it. Shut up, onion child! Okay, where do we go now? Do I have to talk? I think I need to talk to this person up there. All done, Prof. I went and grabbed the three Comatite Shards. Wasn't too much trouble. Ha ha ha. Oh, Lilin, well done. You're a real treasure, darling. Now give me the shards and I'll use my evil magic to put them back together. Evil magic? What are you talking about? The ritual is complete. Go ahead and grab the Comatite, dear. I just wish I could do more to help. It must be stressful with all of us depending on you. Good luck, Lilin. No shaped gem! Nose gem obtained. Well, that's the demo. <laughs> you can kind of see, like, some things, some ideas that maybe got into Hollow Knight, but uh, I think the winner of these games is definitely Ugly Jesus vs. Mummy. That was the best one. Without a doubt. Nah, the best one was <laughs> Booty Grotto for sure, that game's awesome. More Booty Grotto speedruns? I will do one more. We'll end it off with a Booty Grotto speedrun. Maybe we can beat our... Or we could do- we could try and find like another gold, I don't know. Like what if we- what if we found another gold warp to get further ahead? I feel like maybe we should spend some time trying to find one. <laughs> Big fish games. Wait, was, <laughs> was that what was that what William Pellin called his game his game studio at that point? I never noticed that. Yo, this saved my progress? That's awesome. This saved all my progress. Before we do a run, I want to do some testing. I want to see if I can find another gold... Another gold warp. 
So the gold warp on this map is you just gotta get there quickly. And then the blue warp turns into a gold warp if you get there fast enough. Like so. And this lets you get to... All the way over here. Now... There's also a gold warp on this level that takes you to the secret. So, we can't find one on this map. Because there's already a warp to get to the secret one. So it's got to be on one of the next... The next maps. I don't know if there even is, though. But we'll look around on the next maps. Maybe we'll find something. There's definitely not on this map. Like, looking at the map, it kind of seems like there's not any other things to do. I always get hit by that guy. But maybe somehow? There's also the chance that that gold warp is actually bad and you want to do a different gold warp. I think the green warp here is probably good. Did I ever do the green warp here? I doubt there's a gold warp here, but I feel like the green is probably the best one. Let's try and get it. We gotta be fast though. We gotta be fast on this map, it's hard. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Green! So we go down to the crystal. Maybe there's a gold on this map. If we could get a gold on this and skip the auto scroller, that would be amazing. We need to explore this map. Ooh, look at this place. Oh, frick. This is a nice map. I have a feeling there's a gold exit, but... If it's a speedrun one, I'm missing it. <laughs> because I've never played this before. Just winging it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh! Gold exit? It's just past the blue one. Yo! Yo! <laughs> this is the route! This is the route! Alright, we found it, chat. We found the route. We found the god route. We gotta do a run with this route. I gotta try and get good at this map now. Because I'm used to doing the gold one. Oh. I still need one. Okay, so there's... Two over there, and there's one, one jelly somewhere else. Where is it? Down here? No, I got that one. Got the one behind him. And in this mouth. Yeah, okay. Need to make sure I get this one. 
So it seems like the fastest ending is going to be the, uh, the waifu ending. Because I don't see anything being faster than this. We can skip the entire auto-scroller section. Whoops. <laughs> this road is hype. I just gotta get good at this map. This one's hard. Now we start getting hunted. And I gotta get the five of them. See, I feel like the gold map might be slightly faster than this, but... With the two gold warps, this has to be the fastest road. Yeah, and it ends right as you get the last one there. Okay, that map's pretty fast. Okay, chat, you ready for a sub five minutes? Or something crazy? Let's do it. I'm actually going to spend my afternoon practicing this run. <laughs> hey, if more people speedrun it, we can get it on uh, speedrun.com. I'll submit it. <laughs> Look at that. Look at how much levels you skip. It's so crazy. This is the god route. The problem is I need you need to get the speed run on the frickin' diagonal map. <laughs> That's probably the hardest part. I'm gonna be the whole leaderboard at the end of this. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. MC Tech Bat, thank you so much for the prime sub. I think I missed that. Thank you. Here we go. No! Stop pausing! I'm resetting. I'm resetting. <laughs> I gotta stop holding space that long. I'm holding space to skip through the cutscenes and then I like... It pauses afterwards, so... Go, 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 go! Okay, don't hold pause, let's go. Gotta go fast for the gold exit. Easy. Very clean level one. Now we just gotta do the normal ending here. Wait for this frickin' jelly. Oh, the jelly's not there. What the heck? Interesting. Normal ending. Speed run, we gotta speed run, we gotta speed run. Uh, uh. That was beautiful, that was beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure how, what how that jellyfish cycle works, but it worked out for us that time. And now this one we just gotta beat normally, but... Oh, oh, I'm threading the needle. But we gotta go past the normal ending for the secret one. 
come on, we can get the Deathless run too. Oh, that cycle's crazy. Oh my god, keep going. Go, 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 go. Uh, I can make it up here. Okay, under, under, and gold. And now we just gotta do jellyfish level. Here we go. Sub five. Sub five incoming. Okay, don't, make sure I don't forget this guy like last time. No! <laughs> I choked! I choked! No way. I still have this jellyfish? Oh my god, dude. I'm doing another run. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wait, death warp. Wait, death warps are actually a strat maybe. Because you keep the jellies. Ah, oh, frick. I think after this one I should death warp. Get this one, warp back. Right? That's worth. That's worth. We're, we're, put, we're figuring out the route. We're figuring out the route. It's fine. I think we can still get sub 5, we just gotta speed up a bit. Don't go for the hat, don't go for the hat, it's a waste of time. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh shit. No, 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 no. I choked so badly this run. I choked. But we still got sub five. Let's go. World record with the new route. Let's do one more, let's do one more. Let's try and get a deathless run. Or at least not like a significant death. How to get a GF in five minutes. Use two gold warps, and then unlock the chest of girlfriend. Sub 4? Yeah, I could get sub 4 if I don't choke in the last level. <laughs> my, my plan to become every name on the leaderboard is almost complete. Okay, here we go, chat. This is the god run. This is the god run right here. Full focus mode.
Oh, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. The jelly's in my way. It's fine. It's fine. It might screw me for this cycle, too. No, we're fine. Okay. Whatever. Minor time loss, it's fine. I can always clean that up some other point. Alright, the hard level. Here we go. Uh, Panic. Oh my gosh. This level stresses me out for some reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing pretty good at it, though. Over him, over him, over him. Oh, I could probably go under that one. Save a little bit of time there. Oh, I'm not making that cycle, damn. It's alright. Frick! I'm getting screwed by cycles this time. Not the best. Oh, not the best at all. No. Very rough crystal map so far. I think we can still get WR though with a good final map. So here's my plan, right? In the second part, after the final jelly, we're gonna death warp. And I think that'll help save a bit of time. So we'll get this one. I wonder if I can squeeze above him, potentially. Frick! <laughs> Oh, I'm trying to go too fast, I'm choking. Move your butt. Dead run. Nah, we'll get WR. We'll get WR. Easy. I'll just do another run. I tried to hit the stalactite and freaking missed. <laughs> this is the best speed game. Kind of use your bounces off the bubbles to help you too. In this part, I feel like that's a good strat. I should have saved this one till the end. This is a slower route for sure. Where is this prick? Where's the last one? Still saved 21 seconds. Okay, sub four next run. Sub four next run. It's all planned out now. I've got the route. I know the maps pretty well. We got this. Waifu percent. Well, waifu percent is just any percent, because it's the fastest ending for sure. At least, I think so. Unless there's some crazy gold that takes you all the way to the end somewhere. Yeah, three records in a row? Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, 
This is gonna be the god run right here. I know I said that last time. This is it though. Here we go. Flawless gameplay incoming. You'll never see a fish with more accurate swimming than this. I think the leaderboards are probably local. <laughs> I don't think it's working online. Uh, bottom route, bottom route. Don't be a dumb. Okay, as long as you're fast, that jelly doesn't seem to be in the way ever. Okay. We've been doing well on this map. No! The chokes! The chokes. That's a run dead if you if you die on that map because the green is gonna go away. Frick! Yeah, I jinxed it by saying I was doing well. <laughs> it always happens. I should just say I'm terrible all the time. I'm using arrow key. Bottom route. Gotta wait a little bit for the sky. Don't think there's any way to avoid the waiting on Noodle Friend. This one you don't have to go in, but... Here we go, here we go! Oh my god, I was so close there! Oh! We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good! Crystal map. Above this guy, below this guy. Watch. Insane. Insane pace. Yo. I don't think I can make that. Maybe? Maybe you can perfectly make that? That seems really scary though. We'll save that till the record's more optimized. <laughs> This cycle works out pretty well, too. Beautiful, okay. Very nice. Final map, final map! There might be some more time saves. I think the crystal map has the most potential for time saves. Maybe this map. But there's there might be some more things you can do there. I suck. I suck. I choked. Oh my gosh. This level's so hard. Oh. Squeeze past him. <laughs> That kind of worked out a little bit. Still think it would have been a lot faster to not die though. <laughs> Intentional death warp. Oh, you're here still. Jeez. You scare me like that. I might have choked the sub 4 to that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, get that one first, then go left to top. It's probably the best. Go, 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 go! I choked it! <laughs> no! 402. We gotta get some four. We gotta get it. All I gotta do is not choke in the final level. Can we gamble on sub four? Oh yeah. Booty percent. <laughs> Fish booty. The true booty gro the true booty was <laughs> the wife along the way. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, let's do let's get the sub four. Easy sub four, let's go. Watch me die on like the first level. this map. Now it's this map, though. Oh my god, I'm always so close to hitting that. That frickin' corner. Oh! We're good. Now can I do the over-under strat? Advanced techniques. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We got it. Yeah, that's possible, I think. I think that's a WR strat right there. I'm pretty sure you can make that, and this, maybe, as well. There's some crazy cycles you can go for. They're not necessary yet, but, you know. Even that one, maybe. Holy crap. I'm gonna have to test some of those. Might be able to barely make some of them. Okay, don't choke. Don't choke. This is the choke zone. <laughs> don't choke. Finally did that, right? Death warp. It's gotta still be faster, right? Even though that takes forever. 
the respawn is very slow. Ooh, swerve on him. No! <laughs> no! No way! Oh my god. I might still be able to get it. We still got it! We still got it! <laughs> I choked though. <laughs> I freaking choked. That final level's hard, dude, I'm telling you. This moment in Booty Grotto speedrunning has finally happened. The sub four barrier. The four minute barrier has been broken. History has been made. Amazing. Uh, well, this is from Newgrounds, but I'm playing it on Flashpoint because Newgrounds doesn't work for me. Their player is garbage, it doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, well, I think that's good for now. I think I'm gonna wait till someone beats my time to come back. I think I'm happy with the sub 4. And I challenge you at home to beat this time. If you do, I'll probably <laughs> come back and try and get the god run. Uh, but I do want to do one more thing. I want to check out the arcade. Which was up... Up and then forwards a few times. I need to collect all the thingamajigs. But yeah, it can be hard to get a hand on this game. Like, I don't know, maybe Newgrounds player will work for you, but it wasn't working for me. So, if you look up Flashpoint, it is a software that does it all for you. Like, you don't need to... You don't need to install Flash or anything. You just need to install Flashpoint. And then... Don't get... Don't get the 250 gig one. <laughs> There's one that downloads every game, and it's like 250 gigs. There's another one that's, uh... It's like 2 gigs, and you can download whatever games you want. It doesn't come with any. So make sure you're getting the right version, but... Oh, I didn't actually need to go up here. But I don't think I've ever been here. Have I been here? I might have went here as my first ever run, or something. wonder if there's a secret here. It's down here. Oh, just a hat. This feels like there's some secret potential, but maybe it's a speedrun. Speedrun golds. Or something. I went blue on first run? Okay, I've never been up here then. I want to go to the arcade. Like, how do you get here? How do you get to that secret? It's got to be in this map. It's got to be in this map. To get to the other secret in the top. Oh jeez. Deep nest. I wonder what the secret is here. Hopefully just a hidden one and not a speedrun. Oh, of course, you got the frickin' ghosts. I 
sure do love the ghosts. Chat, let me know if you see any secret walls. Oh, found it. <laughs> oh, frick. I feel like just the inclusion of like secret stuff like this makes the game so much more interesting. Oh! What the hell? We might have another route. We might have an alternate route. Uh... Huh. There might be another fast way of doing this. That we'll have to compare. I like the current route so much though. The current route's great. Yo, we're jumping out of water? This game is always surprising me. We're freaking Echo the Dolphin now. Oh my god. Oh, I forgot to do the prediction. It was yes. Oh, someone did it. Okay, bird. Okay, bird. Why is this taking like eight years to spawn? It's freaking birds out of here. Oh my god, this map is hard. Never mind, this route's impossible. <laughs> this is the god gamer route. This is the Ismus tier route. Nobody's gonna do it. How do you get past the birds? How do you do it? Now. Now. Okay, okay. You just gotta, you know, figure out the timing. Oh my god. This level. <laughs> I hope this doesn't end up being faster because I suck at this map. And I don't know if there, it's because there's so much on the map, but the respawn takes forever too. Like, longer than the other ones. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Oh frick, oh frick. Yump! Yump! We did it. <laughs> That's the hardest map in the game. I'm telling you. So, uh, I skipped the level I wanted to play. <laughs> I wanted to go to the arcade. So yeah, it looks like this this route would be doing two levels, the skip, and then two levels, and then the space end. I, I think that's a lot slower. I think that's a lot slower. Thankfully. I mean, we could try it out, but... That's probably the second fastest route. Anyways, I want to go to the arcade. I'm the entire leaderboard, let's go! Yeah, maybe. I, I doubt there's 
much you can really do in terms of secrets at that point, because there's already a blue and a green on that map. Like, maybe there's a goal that skips to one... skips one level, but I doubt it. Usually they skip a lot more. Okay, I think I can just do blue and then go up to the arcade. But I'm so good at this map, I'm gonna have to wait for it to turn to blue. <laughs> turn blue! Let's we'll do all the blue ones until I get to a certain point. I just want to see what the arcade is, and then we'll end up. Where does green take you there? Oh, I did that one already. I think I've done all the maps now. So this one I also just have to do normally, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> the bubbles. My accuracy is, is failing me now. It's been too much... It's been too long of a stream. I would've still got green, dude. That's so free. There's a gold in this one? Oh no, I was supposed to do green! I was supposed to do green, I wasn't paying attention to the map, shit. Oh man. Oh, is that the gold that takes you up there in the in the bubbles? I can see that. Guess that's the one map I haven't done then. Shit. Okay, I'll do one more. <laughs> It's annoying I have to redo stuff. I'm just trying to check one thing out. It's not gonna be worth, like, there's no way it's worth. But I'll also try and find the gold, I guess. Or should we just go for green? It's probably a hidden one, right? The gold is probably a hidden. Because there's already a speed run. The green one's already a speedrun, so it's got to be a hidden gold. I'll have to look for that. 100% speedrun. I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> no way I hit that. Scammed. The green ones are so free. <laughs> okay, we'll do blue and then we're gonna look for the gold. Gotta be a hidden one. Behind you at the start! Damn it. Well, there was something though. Uh, hmm. Down there, there's just a coin. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I see. Wait, hold on, chat. I think I figured it out. Yeah! I'm a genius. This is a game by William Pellin. One of the creators of Hollow Knight. You know, I always praise Hungry Knight for being amazing, but uh this this is actually the masterpiece I was I was missing out on all my life. This has so much like to it for a flash game. It kind of makes you think of like how much games like this were made that nobody knows about that are actually really cool. Like just a really good flash game that nobody played because it was like super obscure. It's not in flashpoint search. That's how I'm using it. <laughs> That's how I'm playing it. I was just searching boot- I, I have in my search right now Booty Grotto and it's there. Not in the Mac Flashpoint? Is it 10? Do you have 10? Because it wasn't on the previous version. Struggling to get past this. Fish drifting. Oh, you bitches. Dude, come on. These things are so annoying. No, it's not you, Mini. They're not even puffer fish. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Let's check out the arena the uh the arcade. This is what I've been trying to freaking get to this whole time. Carnival games. Okay, what happens when I do this three times? I guess that was the carnival game. See, I knew I was going to be let down. <laughs> Here's the clowns, though. Oh, but what happens when I open the red door? Interesting. Swim through the loops. Why is this still saying three? I did like ten times. Hello? Is there an order of things? Red, green, blue. The frick? Oh, 
Oh, green is three. Well, knowing that, I should be able to guess it. What? Bullshit. Oh, red is four. Blue is two. Where's one? Green is one, okay. I see. Nice party hats. One. Oh, frick. What was two? It was one, two, three, four. Nice. I'm still missing ten. Is there some up here? Five more! Where's the last five? Oh, they're at the start. <laughs> I guess I, there was even more over there. Well, we did the carnival. <laughs> it just sends you to this awful level. <laughs> Cactus, thank you for the raid. I'm ending off, but <laughs> thank you. You know what? Let's do one run for the raid. Let's do one run for the raid. One last run. So we've been playing the greatest game of all time by William Pellin called Return to Booty Grotto. We got sub four minutes just recently. I'll show off the run because we got a raid and then we'll end off after that. And I'll do a prediction, will I get world record? Which, I don't know, it's been a while since I did a run. <laughs> don't have too much faith. But yeah, we've I've had so much fun with this game. This game is great. And we've, we've found this like perfect speedrun route and everything. which I will show off right now. Let's do it. So, the first thing you're gonna need to do in the Booty Grotto speedrun is on the first map, if you get to the end fast enough, it's gonna be a gold warp, which is gonna let you skip a bunch of levels. So, just by doing it quickly and going to where the blue warp is normally, you get a bunch of skips and you basically skip like three levels or something. Next level is this one. All you're really going for here is the normal ending, which will give you the best route. So we're gonna try not to die here. We beat this jellyfish and squeeze under this. There we go. And now we're on one of the harder maps in the run, which is the uh, diagonal temple. You gotta do this quickly to get the green exit. And it's kinda hard to do quickly without bumping into the walls, but uh, I've gotten pretty decent at it. There we go. A little slower than I usually do, but solid. And the green warp will move you down to this crystal area. And the important thing about this map is that there is a warp to skip even more levels. And it's just hidden behind the normal ending. You just gotta go behind it. So it's pretty easy to get. It's gonna be avoiding these things. There's some cycles I think you can make that I don't go for. Just because they're too scary. Like I can maybe I can maybe make that, but it's really close. And there's the gold warp hidden behind. This lets us skip more levels. Uh, this game was created by William Pellin, one of the Hollow Knight creators. 
in like 2012 or something. And now this is the final level. We just gotta collect all the jellyfish. I have one intentional death warp I do on this map, which we'll see later. And other than that, we're just trying to follow a pretty strict route here to collect all the jellies as fast as possible without dying. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> I died in world record too. Okay, so we get this one, go up here. And then this guy. And here's where the death warp is supposed to be. I didn't <laughs> I didn't die in the right spot. I probably lost a couple seconds. But I think we can still get WR if the rest is perfect. Okay. We respawn back here so we can go up left faster. This is a cutscene. And now, final area, we gotta get five jellyfish. I usually get that one and then go circle around from the left to the top. I can't believe I missed that. That was a choke. Come on, come on, what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get here? Easy world record. Let's go. I actually split late too. I need to retime that. I missed the the one button <laughs> on on the numpad. Well, there you go. I got a world record while explaining it. That's cool. Three fifty six. One death can be improved quite a bit. I think. But there you go. And then you get your girlfriend out of the treasure chest. Just like in real life. Submit this to GDQ. <laughs> Grub noise. Meow. But yeah, thank you all for joining me today. It was a lot of fun. This game ended up being, like, so much fun to just play and speedrun. And the other ones were interesting. <laughs> Moodlando was pretty cool. The other one was just, like, a huge meme. But uh, I had a good time. I'm going to make this into a video, so... That'll probably be next week's video. And yeah, on Sunday we're doing any percent with the Isthmus tier route. So don't miss that stream. It's going to be cool. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Um... I'm gonna raid Adam. Adam is doing true ending speed runs. I'll see you all in the next stream. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.